When I say Belgian, what do you think of? Waffles. Well, I'm not going to be talking about waffles. I'm going to be talking about beer, which is another thing Belgians are known for. And what's the best place to have a beer? Probably at a bar with friends or at home with your feet up. But just for now, so we're on the same page, let's say a brewery. Bruges has its own brewery, De Havman, or the Half Moon for all those English speakers. And for those non-English speakers, don't worry. The brewery gives tours in three different languages, English, French, and Dutch. Because it doesn't matter what language you speak, everyone likes beer. The tour covers both how people used to brew beer before industrialization and how they brew beer now in those shiny metal vats. Did you know back in the day monks were the ones who brewed the beer? Actually, they still do, and it's supposedly the best beer ever. There's actually a six-month to two-year waiting list just to get a 24-pack. So if you want some for a party, you better plan ahead. It's fascinating seeing the labor it took in the olden days to make a batch of suds. It was dangerous work because of all the unfiltered alcohol fumes produced. They used to tie a rope to the leg of the fermentation vat cleaner guy so they could pull him out in case he fainted. Yeah, all that for beer. At one point in the tour, you get to walk on the roof of the brewery and see a gorgeous 360 view of Bruges. Forget the Bruges Belfry, this is the place to go for a great view of Bruges. The view isn't as high as the belfries, but that also means there's not as many stairs to climb, which for me would be reason enough just to go here. So after an hour-long tour with a fantastic bird's eye view of Bruges, you'd think that'd be it. But that's not it. They give you a free beer at the end of the tour. Yes, you get to contemplate your newfound understanding on how beer is made as you drink a freshly brewed beer. Knowledge never tasted so good! I'd put this tour high up on the list of things to do in Bruges. It's informative, photogenic, and cheap. The cost of a ticket is only 5 euros and 50 cents. The tour is probably worth that on its own, but when you throw in the cost of the beer, you're actually making money by going on the tour. You'd lose money if you didn't go on the tour. That's how I like to think of it, anyway. Well, that's it for now. So, until next time, keep traveling.